What's up guys, it's Mike. Um, I'm in traffic in Southern California. Here, take a look at this. Cars, 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 and as far as you can see, more cars, and cars on my right, and they're merging into me, and I'm back. Um, this is gonna be about <laughs> driving stick shift in traffic. Terrible, it is completely terrible. Uh, I'm constantly shifting over and over, and um, you know I'm pressing the clutch over and over down there, and it's you know it is what it is, which is pretty cool. I mean I really don't mind. I'm used to it by now. But for those who are wondering if you should get a stick shift or not, you want to consider driving in traffic, especially if you're in Southern California, and uh, having to put in your clutch, take it out in and out. Like right now, I'm pretty much going in and out of my clutch over and over, and um, you know, this car is all over. You can kind of see behind me, there's, there's it's not moving. I'm going about uh, two miles per hour and I'm accelerating and I'm decelerating to back to zero. So, um, SoCal, SoCal traffic is very bad. It's about 5.42 p.m. on day, uh, Tuesday. So you can imagine the traffic is completely jam-packed and I am in Southern Orange County right now which is really bad traffic. Everyone's heading home from work, from the city of Irvine and all that good stuff, all these nice cities out here. And they're heading back to their homes out in the Inland Empire and Northern Orange County along with LA. So you're gonna be stuck in traffic the entire time. I figure I'd give you a little sneak peek of how I feel about this traffic. Um, overall, the experience of driving stick shift is great no matter where it is you're just happy that you have a stick shift i know some of you guys are learning to drive and uh i remember when i was younger i was like oh man if only i could drive a stick shift and then you know you pretend you're driving when you're in an automatic car or you sit there and pretend you're doing it while you're driving some other car or as a passenger or watching other people drive it and it's an amazing like really exciting feeling when you finally get to drive it and when you do get to drive it you kind of bitch about it because you're like your left foot is tired because you're pressing it all the time. So, um, I mean, it's, it is it is what it is. That's why most people don't have manual cars anymore, any more stick shifts. Most people have automatics because it's a lot easier to drive around. Um, you pretty much, you're a zombie when you're driving an auto. Just gas brake with one foot, your left foot's just relaxing. But here I'm basically cruising and then I'm hit the brake, hit the clutch, and I'm to a roll and almost to a stop. The car's moving in front of me, so I'm gonna feather the gas just a little bit, and forward, and clutch back in. So, um, that's what it is. But it's pretty cool, I, I don't mind it. But uh, I figured I'd make this a little video for you guys. All right guys, thanks for watching. Um, I would definitely make more stuff for you guys. But uh, follow me on Instagram in the meantime. A lot of you guys have been talking to me on Instagram, which is really cool because uh, Instagram is easy to chat with. So if you guys basically tag me on something, I can chat with you guys on Instagram. Uh, YouTube's a little bit harder. There's no app to chat with you guys. So I wish there was, but unfortunately there isn't. So if you're on Instagram, it'd be a really easy way to chat with me. Ask me my opinions on you know certain car things and all that good stuff. So follow me on Instagram. In the meantime, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And hello to you new subscribers. And hello and welcome to all you returning ones. And um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys.